Let's try to understand the interface in Salty and why it's different from the contract itself. Okay, so here I have opened Remix ID and done the basic configuration. So I have this license identifier and the Salty 8.13 version. Okay, and this is how you define interface in the contract. Okay, so first we have the interface. You have to use the interface keyword, and this keyword is reserved in Salty. You can't use it as a function, you can't use it as a variable name so this one is a reserve keyword you can call whatever you want to your interface okay so i have called interface example you can call it interface a b c d whatever you want okay and there are a couple of rules which you have to follow about the interface in sort okay so you can't declare any state variable in your interface okay you can't use constructor in the interface you can't declare any statement function statement in the interface you can only declare function and that function is declarative okay let me show you what I mean by declarative function. Okay, so let me create a couple of functions. So let me write the first function. So this is the first function I have, and what this function does, it simply return me a string. Okay, you can't use it public or internal. It only be external type. Okay, so whatever function you will define, and that function is external type in interface. Okay, so this is the first function we have. This is the second function. This will take the two number, and it's a external type, and it's not returning anything. Let me write the third function. So this is the third function. What it does, it will do certain calculation and it will return the UNT. And both all these functions are external type. Okay. So this is how you define interface in your contract. And now let me write a contract in that we're going to inherit the interface which we have written here. Okay. So let's write the interface. So this is the contract we have. Okay. So I have called the contract and I have given the name of the contract is contract. And I'm using this keyword okay i'm using this is keyword okay so when you define this is keyword that means that what you want to inherit in this contract so this is the interface i have defined so i'm simply typing the name of the interface here which means that this contract now will have the access of all the function we have defined okay so if you have coded in open zeppelin or use any library you have find that this is how we do the inheritance okay this is how we get the access of certain functions from the interface okay so this is contract will have the access of these all functions so now let's define a couple of things inside the contract okay so first thing i will do is that i have defined this two variable unt type private num1 num2 okay let's write a function so this is the function and it's a normal function this function is not related to this interface okay so you can remove this interface and you can call this function it will still return this gig for gig okay so that's the simple function which return me this string okay this function is not related to that now let's write the second function so here we have the second function what this function is doing again this function is working independently it's nothing related to this interface we have done okay so it's taking a two number and simply doing this calculations and updating our private variables okay so that's the second function we have now that's the third function this function is similar the function we have defined in the interface okay so what it does it's do a calculation and return this okay so this is the contract first contract now let's write one more contract and this time what we're going to do is right now this second contract this sorry this contract has access to all this interface okay so we're going to create a one more contract and with the help of that contract in that contract we're going to use the help of this okay this contract to access the interface we have defined here okay i sound i it sounds complicated but let me show you what i mean so this is the contract i have called so contract call and in that i'm going to declare a variable so i'm going to call the interface name and it will be an object okay so this will have the access of all the functions so let's write the function for that so this is the function we have created call function public and here i'm using this variables and here i'm referencing to my contract because my contract has access of all these data so in this way i can easily able to access all of these data and the interface as well okay so here i have the access in this object and now i can utilize it in my function so let's write the second function so you have noticed one thing that here i have created one function get value public return and it's returning me a unt okay so here what i'm doing i'm trying to call the interface i have created okay get string get string so this is the function we are calling here okay get string and it's not going to return anything because we are not passing any argument here okay so it's not going to return anything here okay so that's why you can see this one is empty but here you can see i'm calling this set value and this one is going to return me a variable okay this will take that <coughs> set value so this will take the set value and it will take this two number and it's external type okay 
and that's what we are passing here and here we're going to simply returning that okay we are calling this function because both the function have the access okay we have the access of this function and the interface as well because here we have reference and we are getting on the base of the object okay so if i call this function i can easily able to get the 26 so let me show you what i mean by that so let's come here and let's try to deploy the contract so let's deploy the contract first this one okay let's deploy this one and here you can see the contract is got deploy and here we have these two functions and if i call this function you can see the first one we have to set the value okay so let's come here where it is here we can easily able to set the value and it can update here okay but i'm not going to use this function if i call this add it's going to return me zero because right now we don't have anything if we type two and something like that head enter transaction when successful if i call add you can see i got seven okay and these functions are working independently nothing related to this interface okay if i call this get string i can get the string and this one is working independently nothing related to the interface okay but in the third contract due to this way okay and we are trying to access the entire function of the contract and the interface as well okay so i believe that you guys have understood the first contract now let's come delete this one and let's try to deploy the third contract okay call contract let's click on deploy and the transaction when successful you can open the logs and you can have the looks okay that looks fine to me now let's click here and here you can see we got this two function okay so the first function we have is this one call function okay so we have to set the all the inheritance to our objects so we can utilize it okay because we here you can see we are utilizing those one so if i call this set value you can see nothing will happen the transaction will revert because nothing is set so first we have to call this function if i call this function the transaction when successful you can open the logs and here you can easily able to have the access you can see this is two and we can see the entire transaction log and now we have the access of this all function as an interface as the contract this function which we are using here and returning okay so if i call this get value this time the transaction went successful and we have the data okay so let me bring the logs up and here you can see we got this 26 so i hope you guys have understood that how interface exactly work don't be confused between a uh, interface and a contract so we have abstraction in sorority it act in the same way okay it's a pure abstraction of a function okay there are a couple of rules which you have to follow to define your interface in the contract okay so you can't define the state variables you can't define the constructor you can't use the public and internal keyword the function you can define but it can be only as a declarative type no explanation no statement okay so that's how you define and that's how you inherit the interface in the contract and how you can use the other contract to inherit the both inheritance uh, sorry interface and the function contract itself in the third contract okay second contract and that's what we have done here so hope this makes sense to all of you and don't need to worry about it if it's still confusing because i'm going to cover a brief tutorial on this because we are already working on our sorority course okay and that we are taking one topic at a time and we are just working around the, on <laughs> working on that okay so now i believe that you know that what is the difference between an interface how you can define and how you can inherit the functions in a multiple contract with the help of direct or indirect okay so if you're new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and if you want me to cover on a specific topic, do leave me in the comment section. I'll try to make a video and try to explain on that. Have a wonderful day.